Hi, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride, and in this video I will show you how to test car fuses with a multimeter, known as a continuity check, on the bench and then in the car without removing them from the fuse box. Okay, let's get straight to it. So the first thing you need to do is turn your meter to continuity, and on this meter it's that one there, so we'll just turn it to that. And then you can do a quick test just to make sure it's working. If you just touch the leads together, then a lot of uh, multimeters will beep, showing that you have continuity. And when you do a continuity test, what it means is that there's a connection from here to here, which of course has to go through the element in the middle. So if you get a beep, then that means the fuse is good. And this is what it looks like when a fuse blows. And as you can see, the fuse has gone a little bit black inside and the zigzag part from the middle is gone. And if we double check that with our continuity test, nothing there now. So it's actually possible to test the fuses without removing them from the fuse box. And this can be really handy if you're not sure exactly which fuse you're looking for. Maybe the diagram's not available to you, or if you've got quite a lot of fuses to check for some reason. And the thing that makes it possible is that the terminals of the fuse are actually accessible from the back. So you can just see the shiny metal there and also at the other side. And of course the power will be coming in one side, running through the fuse and then coming out the other side. So by doing a continuity check from this side and to the other, what you're actually checking is that the element is still intact across the middle. And that makes it possible to check this fuse without even removing it from the box. So you just need to set your meter to continuity, the same as we did earlier. A quick check to make sure it's working. And now you're ready to test the fuses in the fuse box. And so now to test the fuses, all we need to do is check that we've got a connection from one side of the fuse to the other. And it's as quick as that. Every time you hear the beep, you've got a connection and it means it's a good fuse. And if you come across a fuse that's no good, so you don't get a beep when you do that, then you can go ahead and pull that out to have a closer look at it. When I'm pulling a fuse, I tend to use a pair of insulated needle nose pliers like this. I just feel that I get better reach into whatever I'm doing. But a lot of cars will come with a fuse puller like this one, which is really easy to use as well. They're kind of like plastic tweezers with a little bit at the end that's designed to grab the end of the fuse but I don't actually find them that easy to put fuses back in again with. So uh, I tend to use that. I tend to do that just by hand. Whenever you replace a fuse, it's really important that you make sure it's pushed firmly in. Another test that you might find uh, worth doing is just a voltage check to the fuse. And then also at the other side of the fuse, which is showing that voltage is passing through the fuse because the continuity check will tell you whether you've got a good fuse or not but it won't tell you if you're getting power to the fuse and obviously if it's passing through it on its way to the switch. So this one, uh, number 14 that we were playing with is actually a fuse for um, the lights on this car. And in order to do the testing, we need to turn the key to the ignition two position and then set the meter to read DC voltage. And then make sure you have a good earth to, uh, to put the black wire to. Then you can actually check if you're getting power to that fuse. So here I'm just grounding it to a piece of metal that's just under the fuse box. And then I'm taking a reading here and that's showing 12.35 volts. So I know I'm getting power to the fuse and now I can go to the other side of the fuse and check again. And if I'm also getting 12.35 volts, then I know that power is effectively coming to the fuse and able to flow through it, which can be useful because if your lights aren't working, this is the first uh, step along the way to um, operating them because from here uh, this power will go to the switch uh, near the driver's side and then uh, it'll go through the switch and operate a relay and eventually it'll go to your lights but obviously this is almost like step one really and if you're finding that you're not getting any voltages at all when you test across multiple fuses then it's always a good idea to check that your earth is good so maybe move it to a new location another bare piece of metal and then repeat your checks for example, on this car, there's a secondary location just here, which is a bolt on the door hinge. Hopefully this video helped you, and if it did, then please consider giving me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to make sure you get to see my next video. And finally, if you want to see more videos just like this one, then why not check out the recommended videos on the right? Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.